Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing about the history supraventricular tachycardia look the ECG so how the scenario come from the recalls scenario one is that that is a 15 years old teenager she presented to the equitant emergency with heart racing few weeks ago missed her cardio appointment and now come to your OPD scenario two is that seven month old infant sudden onset of pallor and restlessness over the last few hours and poor feeding so this is the two case introduction is the similar we know that now i am telling how can we do the history of presenting illness complaint analysis plus review of the systems now i am analyzing the complaint first what is the main concern fever awareness of the heartbeat fainting chest pain inability to walk so this is the main concern when did this start which symptom started first is increasing or decreasing what did you do for it is there any associated with symptoms like rigors, fears, night sweating, swollen glands? Among them rigors, not use, it is a jargon, we can use uh, chills or shivering. Now, general question will ask about FWASL, that is uh, fever, about weight, activity, sleep and any lump or lymph node. Fever or preceding any flu symptoms, activity, appetite and sleep. From CBS, we ask History of fainting episodes, exercise intolerance, blue lips, awareness of the heartbeats, blood pressure measured. From chest, we ask recent cough or cold, difficulty in breathing, noisy breathing, snoring during sleep, asthmatic, recurrent chest bugs. CNS, we can ask headache, weakness, facial asymmetry, eye deviation, any concern about vision, hearing or speech, unusual walking pattern and change in mood. Urinary system, we ask change in P, amount, color or frequency, pain in the low end, pain during pain. Musculoskeletal system and skin, we ask skin spots, muscle weakness, difficulty in climbing stairs or in getting up, swelling in the hands or feet, bone or joint pain. GIT, we ask increase the tummy size, any tummy pain, throwing up, especially in the morning and change in the poo. Hematology, we can ask pallor, bruises, bleeding and bugs. From endocrine, we ask any cold intolerance, blood glucose test. Blood, blood glucose test is very much important. We know that hypoglycemia present with this type features. Other concerns we ask any dysmorphic features, long term medical condition or any chronic illness. Now past history. How can we take the past history? The mnemonic we know that 5T IOA. 5T that is any treatment going in past, any treat, uh, team is involving for that, any traveling history, trauma history and any blood transfusion history. IOA is that investigation, onset and admission. Now taking any medications, COVID contact, COVID vaccine to close contacts, any hospital admissions, follow up with team and recent traveling. Perinatal history, we ask any event in pregnancy, jelly scan results, newborn screening and ICU admission. Puberty, we ask certain menstruations, is it regular or not, boyfriend, OCP and protection. Vaccination, we ask missed any shots. Allergy, we ask and the nutrition, uh, we ask on a special diet or not, then type of food, amount and growth chart. Development, we ask loss of acquired any skills. Family, we can ask about the similar condition in the family, sudden death in the family. Social and psychological history, also we ask. School, we ask the type of the school and change of school and any bullying present or not and also impact. This is the history taking proforma full history and what is the differential diagnosis from the history. On top that is supraventricular tachycardia, next myocarditis that is viral which is excluded by no fever before. So there is no any fever, myocarditis not absent. Pericarditis not and infective endocarditis, we know that specific skin lesions, infective endocarditis not, it is rheumatic fever also. And Kawasaki disease according to the age in the scenario, PIMS, COVID, pneumonia, meningococcemia, sepsis and other arrhythmias. That is any ectopic atrial tachycardia, nodal or junctional ectopic tachycardia, atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. So these are the differential diagnosis of this case, supra, uh, supraventricular tachycardia. Five important if we take, then we can take supraventricular tachycardia, myocarditis, pericarditis, infective endocarditis, rheumatic fever and uh, like any arrhythmia. So we can choose this. All DD features we need to know. Now, what investigation we do for this case? In bloods, we do the full blood count, peripheral blood film and blood culture. Inflammatory marker, we do the ESR, CRP and ferritin. Cardiac enzymes, we do the myoglobin, troponin, T and I, CK, MB, BNP and LDH. D-dimers, urea and electrolytes, that is creatinine, liver enzymes and ionized calcium. Viral PCR, viral antibodies to exclude the myocarditis. And also blood gas we can do. 12 bleed ECG with rhythm strip. During supraventricular tachycardia, regular narrow complex tachycardia. Rates is 240 plus minus 40 beats per minute. Remember, supraventricular tachycardia, the uh, heart rate is 240 plus minus 40 beats per minute. That is uh, around 200. PUFs is usually invisible. If visible, PUF axis is abnormal and either 
precedes or follows QRS complex. Rarely regular broad complex tachycardia if ever in pathway present if in dark treated ventricular tachycardia. When in sinus rhythm, Old Parkinson White, WPW pre-excitation with short PR interval for age and delta wave in 10 to 20 percent of children can be normal. Imaging we can do that is chest x-ray to exclude other any differentials and echo we do to assess the structural anatomy and cardiac function. About the management plant of the supraventricular tachycardia that it resuscitated first, ABC approach. Continuous cardiac monitoring with ECG recording with each intervention. Vagal maneuvers, safe methods only. Equal should be explained and educated to parents. Diving reflex that is needed and infants. Use of ice bag over forehead and nasal bridge for 30 seconds or wrapping infant in a towel and immersing face in iced water for 5 seconds. Vasalva maneuver in for older children. That is, ask the child to blow into a 50 ml syringe for 15 seconds whilst lying down. Ask the child to hand stand for 30 seconds, hold his legs for safety. In younger children, less than 30 kg, gently hold the child upside down then back to supine. We give adenosine IV, synchronize, DC shock, general anesthetic must be given if responsive to pain. Subsequent management is admit to the HDU, continuous cardiac monitoring, blood test to check for electrolyte abnormalities, these are urine electrolyte level, calcium and magnesium levels. Discuss with specialist pediatric cardiology center. All patients will require pediatric cardiology follow-up, local or tertiary. Now, I am telling the flow chart of management of supraventricular tachycardia. So, first we assist the patients. Then, we will assist that shock present or not. So, if shock present, yes or no. If yes, then we will start from the vagal maneuver if no delay. And if short absent, then also we start the vagal maneuvers. Now, short presence, there is a flow chart. First vagal maneuver, if no delay, then we give the, uh, when shock is present, establishing IV access quicker than obtaining defibrillator. After IV access, defibrillator, if con condition is improving, then we give the adenosine 100 microgram per kg, 2 minutes. After adenosine 200 microgram per kg again, then after 2 minutes, again we give the adenosine 300 microgram per kg. Consider adenosine 400 to 500 microgram per kg, neonate 300 microgram per kg, maximum 12 milligram, synchronous DC shock, amiodarone, and other antiarrhythmics seek advice. So, if establishing IV access, look the yellow box, start establishing the IV access quicker than obtaining defibrillator, but condition not improving, then we go for the below synchronous DC shock 1 joule per kg, next step is synchronous DC shock 2 joule per kg, then consider amiodarone. Remember, do not use verapamil and amiodarone in the same patient. As both have negative inotropic effect, do not use verapamil in children aged less than 1 year. So, this is all about supraventricular tachycardia history and everything. Please do subscribe and share MRCPCH with Dr. Emma Chaudhuri. Thank you.